Hello you guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm obviously so excited right now because, well you can tell by the title, but look what just came in the mail. I'm so excited. I'm literally just so, 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 so excited. I can't even explain it. If you're a subscriber and keep up with my videos, you're probably thinking to yourself, Carter, you literally just upgraded to the new Paper White six months ago. And you would be correct on that. But I'll get into the story a bit more after. I just had a lot of issues with my Paper White. Look, no one talks about the Kindle Oasis online. Okay, when you look up Kindle unboxings, it's all the Kindle Basic and Kindle Paper White. And for valid reasons, because the Oasis is a super splurge but I decided to take one for the team and get the Oasis so that I could share with you guys and share my thoughts. I do think that each Kindle has their own purpose and a lot of the pros overlap between the Kindle Basic, Paper White, Oasis, and then I, I don't really know much about the Scribe to be honest, but I do think that each Kindle serves a purpose for different people's needs. And honestly, besides like my experience with this Kindle Paperwhite, my experience with the Kindle Basic and Paperwhite has been honestly amazing. It's like a little recap if you guys are new here. I promise we'll get into the unboxing in a sec, but the story kind of matters when it comes to like why I got the Oasis. I had a Kindle Paperwhite, the older edition from 2020 to 2023. Then I decided to upgrade to the 2022 Paperwhite release, which I just had a lot of issues with. This is not like a paper white, like shaming video by any means. Like I said, I think it's an amazing Kindle reader. And I've heard of some other people having this issue too with the newer Kindle, but don't let this dissuade you. Like I'm not saying your paper white is gonna be defective. It's just mine was. Honestly, don't know if I just got a few bad batches, but I noticed it was super laggy and it glitched all the time and would stop me at like page five of the book I was reading and when I'd go to turn the page it would say it was finished so I think I just got like a defective one so then I got it replaced and they sent me a new one and that one worked fine for about a month and then the same thing happened so then I returned it and I was on my third replacement now I might have just gotten a bad batch of them so don't let this like I said dissuade you from getting a Kindle Paperwhite I just kind of wanted to explain the story so I reached out to Amazon and can I just get a refund and then I'll put that money towards an Oasis because they were going on sale for Boxing Day. Like I think there was like an $80 difference. So I was like, honestly, I really want to get the Oasis. I'll kind of go through my reasoning after. And they were actually so, so kind. Shout out to Amazon customer service. And after explaining my situation, they said that I could have a one-time replacement of any Kindle that was out there just because I'd had so many issues with my paper white. And so I literally got the creme de la creme of Kindles. I didn't get the scribe obviously, but this is the 32 gigabyte like cellular connectivity because it was the only one they had in stock. I don't think that's necessary at all. I do not need that at all, but it was the only Oasis they had in stock. The 32 gigabyte normal one, like without cellular connectivity that like just connects to the Wi-Fi has been out of stock since Christmas and I didn't want the eight gigabyte just because I knew I needed more storage than that so I reached out and they were like honestly literally pick whichever Kindle you want so I was like you know what I'm going for the big boy I'm going for the most expensive one because honestly why not like if they're gonna pay for it so here she is I've already like opened it here just because I was so excited and then I was like wait I need to film the unboxing so that's kind of a little bit about why I got this one I definitely don't think you need a 32 gigabyte Kindle Oasis with cellular connectivity at all maybe actually there's someone out there who does but that's just the only one they had in stock and I really needed an upgrade because I had already sent my paper white back to them so anyways that's a little story behind why I got the Kindle Oasis but I'm really looking forward to it. I will also link down below I did like a total comparison video between the basic the paper white and the Oasis so that will have like all the specs I just like don't feel like going over them again but I have a whole video on that if you guys are interested in like which ones are waterproof which ones have you know the light adjuster and all that stuff I have like a really detailed video I'll link it down below. But let's go unbox this bad boy I am so excited and I just can't wait. I am so excited.
Kindle is all set up. I don't have the stickers on it yet, just the clear case, but I'm really excited to start playing around with it. I already kind of just re-downloaded. Set up a new Kindle, your whole library is there, but the books aren't downloaded. So you have to download the ones that you're currently reading so that you can get the percentages done on it. So I figured we could go through some of the settings in case anyone is interested. So in device options, I just have it set up as the display cover on, which is what shows you the book you're reading when you lock your screen. Um, let's see. I have 27 gigs available. And then in the display settings, Matt set this all up for me because he said he knew I would forget, which is so sweet. That's like my love language. But in the warm schedule, I have that set on, which will ha add the warm amber light. And this is set to automatic, gradually changes with sunset and sunrise. And then you can set the warmth of your Kindle, which is really nice. Reading options. And also change the page turn buttons, which I did. I did them as a reverse. So top button is your forward and the bottom is your back. But I preferred it reverse. Like to me, it made more sense for the forward button to be on the bottom. So I just changed that. I don't have any of these settings on. In accessibility is where you would revert it if you prefer to have the black with the white text, but I just have it as is. And then in terms of reading settings, you can just click on the top of your Kindle, click the letters, and this is kind of what I have in terms of my theme. I have the Bookerly font. Yes, I read with very small text size. Okay, it just works for me. Use whatever text size, you know, works for you. I go between a three and a four and I don't have it bolded. And then these are just like my layouts. You can obviously change them um, more spaced out, less spaced out. And it obviously will depend per book too as well. And then you can also, you can actually read this way, which is kind of cool. Not something, I don't know if you can do this with the other ones, but I would assume not just because the screen size is bigger here. And I think that's it for settings. Now I really want to go through and just like clean up my library. I feel like I have so many books in here, obviously. So I want to go through especially my Kindle Unlimited books and just return the ones that... I may not be like reading. I just really wanna go into the year with a fresh start in terms of books I wanna read. And now it's time to put some stickers on it, which is so fun. All right, you guys, it's actually the next day. Don't mind my scratched up desk, but we're gonna decorate my Kindle now. I have a little fake book of all my stickers I've just like collected over the last couple years. And then I've obviously got my Kindle. Came in the mail today. It's a Kindle like sleeve Kindle case from Etsy. It's really padded. It's really beautiful. I'll link the seller down below. Um, this might seem a little extra, but because I do bring my Kindle on the go with me when I travel and stuff, I noticed that my paperweight was getting scratched up a ton because of having like my keys in my purse and whatnot. So I just picked this up. I thought it was so so cute, and she even wrote like a little note that says like thanks for your order. So I love this. She has a bunch of different prints. I sorted through my favorite stickers and I put them in this envelope just because I had ordered a few off of Etsy as well. I sorted through all of the stickers that I'm like considering slash some new ones that I got. Like I picked up these two, which are just so funny. I think the really cool thing about Kindle stickers and decorating your Kindle is you can customize it to what you like um, and like the things you love. So for example, I have a few Marvel stickers. I have a bunch of Game of Thrones stickers. Um, I have some... Disney ones and then I have a bunch of just like generic these are from um Amazon I think it was like 100 for 10 bucks or something so basically what I'll do is I'll just kind of play around with the layout of the stickers without putting any tape on them that way I can kind of reorder them and change them around if I need to and once I've decided on my layout I will take some tape and then I'll tape them on so let's spend some time kind of finding a good kindle layout i'm gonna put on a youtube video and they're about to snow blow my neighbors are so i'm gonna probably put some b-roll over this but how cute are all of these stickers i'll definitely link these down below stickers on like Amazon they're massive like that I can only fit like freaking two stickers on there you know what I mean 
And so I do think that getting them off Etsy is worth it because they are a lot smaller, but a lot of my Etsy orders haven't come in yet. So I'll have to keep you guys updated in the vlogs. I think this is super niche, but when you're decorating a Kindle, and I'm sure like readers can relate, there's like stickers, like I really wanted to use this sticker, but it like doesn't look good any, wait, actually, hold up. This actually does look good here. But then you won't be able to see the R for the read. Oh yes, you will. Okay, perfect. Put my case on top. I might need two hands to do this. There we go. That is what she looks like with her case. And then in case you guys were curious, oasis with the case does still fit in here. Because I know some cases you can't fit in with the case. This one does, which is going to be such a game changer for like travel and stuff. Because I was really scratching up my paper white and I felt really, really bad. So I'm excited to have a Kindle I can like take a little bit better care of. That is my exciting update for you guys. Good morning, you guys. Hello. It looks like I haven't moved spots, but it's actually a week later and I have obviously had my Kindle Oasis, like I said, for a week now. And I wanted to give you guys a review, talk about my first thoughts, my first impressions. You guys obviously saw we put some stickers and decorated it. I think it's just so fun. There's something about like decorating Kindle and we all obviously have stickers that mean something to us. Like mine are, you know, Marvel, F1 and Game of Thrones really. And I just love it. I think it's so cute and add such a personal touch to your kindle although i will never get over the fact that there's no cover photo for this i'm pretty sure there's probably a way i can add it but it irks me every time i'm reading manacled and there's like no cover art for it but i wrote down all of my thoughts in the last week on my notion and i wanted to share them with you guys you see me looking down it's just because i want to make sure i don't miss anything like i said if you wanted to see a more in-depth review of like the specs in comparison between the different kindles i'll have that video linked down below okay first thing i want to talk about was battery life a lot of people have said in their paper white versus oasis kindle comparison that the battery life is the biggest thing they've noticed that the battery life on the oasis is not nearly as good as the paper white i haven't really noticed it too much yet i have my kindle oasis about a week now i read two to four hours a day i'd say is my average and it's still at 80 percent so i wouldn't say it's like overly noticeable but then again it is also a new kindle so maybe i have to give it some time that debate is kind of similar to the whole like apple watch garmin debate where like you can buy an apple watch that is a bit more expensive and you have to charge it every day or two and then you can get a garmin that you know lasts like a month or something it really just comes down to your personal preference and i didn't pay for the kindle so i think it's a bit harder to say but i would rather have a kindle that is a bit more ergonomic easier to hold i like the features but i have to charge it more often the battery life thing isn't a huge deal for me but i I can see how it is for some people so that could be a big con for some and I do get the rationale of like oh you're paying more for Kindle so the battery life should be better but it's not but I have to say so far the battery life is pretty similar to the paper white I'll definitely have to touch base with you guys like maybe a month or two into it and give you guys an update but so far I haven't really noticed a huge difference honestly but I wrote down I like we're in two different playing fields comparing the paper white and the oasis it's easier to compare the kindle basic and the kindle paper white and i do think that stands true this to me feels like it's in a whole nother ballpark the kindle basic and kindle paper white are similar in cost and those are the two that are easiest to compare in my opinion this to me is just like a totally different kindle experience i will say there are so many advantages to all of the kindles there's a lot of overlapping similarities like this one is waterproof the new kindle paper white is waterproof the warm light etc there is a lot of similarities i will say the biggest difference is probably just the shape of it the screen is bigger and um, just the way it feels holding it. I just think you can't go wrong with any Kindle out there. It just really depends what you are going for. I will say I am really happy that I made the upgrade, the switch to this one. I am not saying that anyone has to go out and buy Kindle Oasis. I do feel like if you're just starting out with Kindle, it's better to start with a basic or a paper white and then upgrade than to just go to the Oasis. But like by all means, I get DMs being like, I have the money for it, should I just get the Oasis? And I'm like, if you want to, like just go for it. But if you're just getting into Kindle, I do think the basic and the paper white are still great options. The only other con I've noticed is I feel like this is not as indestructible as my paper white is. But granted, my paper white was super scratched up and like I threw that thing around. And as you guys saw, I got like a little pouch for it because I really want to make sure, especially with how expensive this is compared to the paper white, I want to make sure I'm taking really good care of it. I feel like, I don't know if it's because of the metal backing, but it does not feel nearly as indestructible. Like my paper white being that more plastic backing, I feel like I could just fling that thing around, throw it in a bag. This I feel like I have to take a bit better care of obviously then here are some of my first impressions so i wrote i definitely prefer using the buttons over swiping and tapping the screen i personally 
love that feature so so much i also got asked too if you can still use the like i call it like the lazy girl kindle setup with a kindle oasis and yes you can i'll put in some clips of me using it you can still use it because you can still tap the screen you just have the buttons as well i really overall just like the ergonomics of it um i felt like i wasn't reaching for my kindle anymore because of how uncomfortable it made me feel granted that's also coming from someone who has carpal tunnel and like you know circulation issues so for me like even holding my paper white with a pop socket like I would lose sensation in my fingers I couldn't find a good way to hold it the ergonomics thing was a really big thing for me and I really think this is so much more comfortable to hold I also do really love that you can flip the screen so for example reading it like this and I'm at like the nail salon and they do my other hand I can read it like this way and so you can flip the screen which is really, really nice. The screen is bigger than the paper white, which I really, really like as well. I like having a bigger screen. The screen also feels just like more crisp and the pages look better on it. I don't really know how to explain that part, but I just like the way it reads. So all in all, I'm really happy with the upgrade, but I don't think it's like necessary to start out from the get-go with a Kindle Oasis. If you have a paper white or a basic and you're looking for an upgrade, I do think that the Kindle Oasis is a great... I say upgrade but obviously it's like in a whole different category. I do think that like if you're a really big reader and maybe you're having issues with the paperweight glitching or slowing down. I do really love the Oasis honestly. I just to say too that the Oasis is one of the older Kindle models. Obviously the Paperwhite came out with a new 2022 model. For me I actually preferred that the Oasis was older because I felt like I had a lot of bad like when they upgraded the Kindle and I got it, and this might just be my experience too, like I said, it just had so many glitches and issues that I actually had considered going back to my older Paperwhite. So for me, it wasn't an issue that it was necessarily like an older model because I felt like it was a bit more reliable. But I do know that there's a lot of people holding off to see if there is going to be a new Kindle released or a new Kindle Oasis released in the next year or two. So I guess take that into consideration as well. But I guess if you are someone who doesn't like the way that a paper white feels it's not comfortable to hold you want a bigger screen or you just want that next step up in the kindle world i definitely would suggest an oasis but as i mentioned i think it really just comes down to who you are as a reader and your preferences i obviously don't commute into an office anymore i work primarily from home i don't bring my kindle out of the house normally like if i'm going to a coffee shop to read i bring a physical copy so for me it didn't matter that the oasis was a bigger model but for some people like if you commute you and you bring your kindle with you everywhere maybe the paper white is a better option since it is the smallest most compact option like it does still fit in my purse i have a medium um crescent bag from bagu but the paper white obviously is a smaller option and if that is a big deal to you maybe stick with the kindle paper white i also wanted to mention too i was really nervous that it would be heavier but i don't find it really heavy i believe it's i have it here 6.6 .6 ounces and it doesn't feel a lot heavier than the paper white i was worried with like the aluminum slash metal backing it would feel heavier it really doesn't at the end of the day i just love that there is a kindle for everybody and their specific needs like i said the oasis is not going to be for everyone the paper white's not going to be for everyone the basic is not going to be for everyone and i think that's the really cool thing about a kindle is that you know there's no right or wrong decision. There's no right or wrong Kindle. And I also wanted to mention too that Amazon does do a trade-in program. If you guys are interested in upgrading, I believe my friend Sarah just did that. I've also heard too, if you have any sort of astigmatism that the Oasis is better, like there's something about the screen about it. I saw an eye doctor talking about that on TikTok. So I guess it's something to consider as well. I will stand by the fact that if you're starting out, I do think that the Kindle Basic or the Paperwhite is the way to go just because you obviously don't wanna make this huge investment if you're not a big reader or some people buy a Kindle and then realize they just enjoy reading physical books so anyways those are my kind of first impressions first thoughts on the kindle oasis like i said i just wanted to make this video because i feel like no one talks about the kindle oasis online and like rightfully so it's a more expensive kindle option but let me know down below which kindle you have if you have an oasis if you have a paperweight if you have a kobo or if you have any other questions feel free to let me know i'm happy to answer them anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video and it was helpful and like i said if you have any questions let me know down below you can dm me on instagram i love you guys so much and i'll talk to you guys next time bye